Hello everyone, welcome to Perfectus, myself Shantanu Sanwal and today we are going to study about the first law of thermodynamics through the questions. Okay, so there in this video I will be discussing around 3 to 4 questions of thermodynamics, first law of thermodynamics which will carry some very good concepts and if you are able to solve each of these questions and if you understand the concepts that have been used in these questions, so believe me, I can assure you that that you will be able to solve each and every questions based upon the first law of thermodynamics. Okay, so let us begin. So let us read this question first. This is a question it says, in a cyclic process, heat transfers are 14.7 kilojoule minus 25.2 kilojoule minus 3.56 kilojoule and plus 31.5 kilojoule. So what is the net work for this cyclic process? So first of all, read this, this question again. It says it's a cyclic process. And for the cyclic process, we have the uh, first law of thermodynamics as summation of del Q that is the cyclic integral of del Q is equal to the cyclic integral of del W. Okay, whereas this is nothing but this is the net heat transfer and this is net work transfer. Okay. So basically we have to find out the net work for the cycle. So we just have to add up all these values of the heat transfer and please don't ignore the signs as well because they are also important. Okay, because they indicate that whether the heat is being added to the system or it is being rejected from the system. Okay, plus sign means that the heat is being added and negative sign indicates that the heat is being rejected by the system. Okay, so plus 14.7 minus 25.2 minus 3.56 and plus 31.5. So this value, if you will solve this, you will get this value as 17.44. Okay. So the correct answer for this one is option D. Okay. Not option A because we are getting this as a positive value. So what are the concepts that we learned from this question? We learned the first question that is for a cyclic process, this is the representation of the first law of thermodynamics. Okay. Whereas this is net heat transfer. This is net work transfer and net weight transfer and net work transfer are same. Then we understood about the sign convention of the heat that if it is given positive, it is heat added to the system. If it is negative, it is heat taken out of the system or heat rejected by the system. Okay. And then we also learned this concept that if we are getting this much amount of heat total final. So this is also the equal amount of work done. So that means finally the net work that is uh, <coughs> being done by the system is coming out to be positive. That means that this much amount of heat uh, is being uh, added to the system net and since this is a cyclic process, so equivalent amount of heat will be work will be done by the system. That means this much amount of work work is done by the system. Okay, work is done by the system. So these terms have to be really clear to you. So these are the uh, concepts that we learned from this question. So let us see the next question. It says 1.5 kg of liquid having a constant specific heat of 2.5 kilojoule per kg Kelvin is stirred in a well insulated chamber <coughs> causing the temperature to rise by 15 degrees Celsius. Find delta E that is the change in energy and the work for the process. Okay. So first thing that we learned from this question itself by reading it again, it says it's a well insulated chamber. Insulated chamber means that there is no heat transfer. Okay. So such processes are known as adiabatic process, which involves no heat transfer. This is the first concept that we learned from this. Then we know by the first law of thermodynamics, this is the basic equation of the first law of thermodynamics for the processes. So in this case, this heat transfer is equal to zero. Okay, so we are left with these two terms and we have to find them only. So how to find them? So then we know one more concept that total energy is your summation of internal energy plus kinetic energy plus potential energy. So if we take the change on both the sides, we are left with change in potential energy plus change in kinetic energy plus change in your internal energy. Okay, so in this question, first thing is there is nothing have been mentioned about the change in kinetic energy. Nothing has been mentioned about the change in velocity. Hence, the change in kinetic energy will be zero and no mention is there regarding any change of the datum head of the system. So the potential energy change will also be zero. 
Okay, so we are left with only this that is change in total energy is the change in internal energy only. So this is equal to m c delta t, where this m is the mass that is given as 1.5, c is given to us as 2.5, and delta t is given to us as 15. This is the positive. Why it is changed? So if we are to take the change in temperature, so whether we take in uh, Kelvin or degree Celsius, both have the same meaning. Okay. So this value, if you will calculate, you will get this value as 56.25 kilojoule. Okay, and from here we know that this work done will be numerically equal to delta E with a negative sign. Okay, so that means this del W or the work done will be equal to minus 56.25. So the correct answer for this one is option D. Okay, so what are the concepts that we learned? First thing is the concept that we learned is that if it's a well insulated chamber, that means there will be no heat transfer or such processes will be known as an adiabatic process. The second concept that we learned from here is that this is the form of the equation of the first law of thermodynamics for any process. Then the another concept that we learned is that the total energy is the summation of various energies like your internal energy, kinetic energy, potential energy. And also if there is no mention about the change in velocity of the system and the change of the datum head of the system then the change in kinetic energy and change in potential energy can be taken equal to zero. And this is the basic equation of the change in internal energy that is mc delta t. And then the next concept that we learned from here is that if we have to take the change in temperature that whether we take it in Kelvin or in degree Celsius both have the same meaning. Okay. And one thing you can see from here as well that this much is the work that is being done on the system. Since it's a negative sign, that means it's done on the system. Okay. And on the system work is being done. And since there is no heat transfer involved, so whatever is the work that we are supplying to the system, it all the work gets converted into its internal energy or it is get stored in the form of its internal energy within the system. Okay. Now, so from here, you can make it out very clearly that First law of thermodynamics is also the conservation of energy, the law of conservation of energy. Okay, so let us see the next problem. It says a stationary mass of gas is compressed without friction from an initial state 0.3 meter cube and 0 0.015 megapascal to a final state of 0.15 meter cube and 0 0.105 megapascal, the pressure remaining constant during the process. There is a heat transfer of 37.6 kilojoule of heat from the gas during the process. How much does the internal energy of the gas change? So what are the important points that we can get from here is the first point that we get from here is that since this is the amount of heat that is being taken from the gas, that means it's the heat being rejected. So delta Q will be equal to minus 37.6. Okay. Why minus? Because it is taken out of the system. Okay. Then we have the change of state that is from state 1, which has your volume as 0.3 meter cube, pressure as 0.105 mega Pascal. And it is being taken to the state 2. State 2 has your volume as 0.15 meter cube and your pressure P2 is equal to P1. Clear? Then we know delta Q is equal to delta E plus del W. So this value we know that is minus 37.6, but neither we know this value nor we know this value and we have to find this value only. Okay. So what to do for that? First of all, we have to find out the work and you know that there is one concept about the work that the total work is equal to two types of work. One is your boundary work. Okay. And second one is your other kinds of work. Since no other work has been mentioned here and also it is being written that it's without friction. That means there will not be any effect of friction as well. So this can be taken as zero and boundary work is given by nothing but P dV where this P is the constant pressure and dV is the change in volume. So this can be taken as P into V2 minus V1 that is the final volume minus the initial volume. So just substituting the values here, we have the value of P as 0.105 but it will be taken into kilopascal because all your answer values are in kilojoule and this value has been given to you in megapascal. So just multiplying it by 10 to the power 3, we get it in kilopascal. Okay. Then what is the value of V2? V2 is since it's a compression. So V1 is greater than V2. 
So we can write here 0.15 minus 0.3. So if we will solve this, we will get this value as 15.75 kilojoule. Okay, this we get. Now just substituting it here, minus 37.6 equal to delta E plus 15.75. We will get, sorry, this will be minus here. Okay. So we get the value of delta E as minus 37.6 plus 15.75 and this value will be equal to 21.85 and that too will be in negative. That means the internal energy of the system or the total energy of the system will decrease by how much? 21.85. Also one more concept is there. Why I am calling this as an internal energy or the total energy? Because it's a stationary system. So stationary system means its change in kinetic energy will be zero. So whether you write it as delta E or you write it as delta U, both have the same meaning since the change in kinetic energy is zero and nothing has been mentioned about the change in the datum head. So the potential energy will also be zero. Okay. So we can write that this delta E will also be equal to delta U. That is the change in internal energy or you can say the change in uh, overall energy both have the same meaning. Okay, so what are the concepts that we learned from this question? First of all, we learned about the work that there are different types of work. What is a boundary work? What is, what is other work? Then we learned that if the heat is being rejected from the system or it is taken out of the system, it is taken as negative. Then we understood about this concept and also we learned that when there is no other form of energy transfer that is being um, involved in the system, so whether we call it a change in internal energy or whether we call it a change in total energy, both have the same meaning. And also we are finally getting the value of delta E as negative. This is nothing but the change that is E2 minus E1 is negative. That means your E2 will be less than E1. That's why we are saying that the internal energy or the total energy of the system decreases. Clear? Now, let us come to the last question of this session. It says, a piston and cylinder machine contains a fluid system which passes through a complete cycle of four processes. There are four processes that are being involved here. They are shown here A to B, B to C, C to D and D to A. During a cycle, the sum of all heat transfers is minus 170 kilojoule. The system completes 100 cycles per minute. So complete the following table showing the method for each item and compute the net rate of work output in kilowatt. Clear? C. So this is the value that are given in this table as kilojoule per minute. Okay. And this is the value per cycle and it completes 100 cycles per minute. So your summation of Q will be equal to minus 1700. Okay. Why? Because it is for one cycle and it completes 100 cycles per minute. So multiplying this 170 value by 100, we get this value. Okay. Now just taking it process by process, what we can get for the process A to B, just writing the form of first law of thermodynamics this way. Clear? So delta Q is zero. That means there is no heat transfer involved equal to delta E we have to find out plus del W is given to you as 2170. That means your internal energy will decrease by this much amount of value. Why? This means, this means that since there is no heat transfer involved and this is the value of work done that is also positive. That means this much amount of work is being taken out of the system or extracted from the system. That means the internal energy will decrease by same amount. So it's decreasing. Clear? Then we come to process B to C. It says delta Q is equal to delta E that again we have to find out plus del W and that is zero. So for this process, we get the value of delta E as 21,000. Okay. Now what is happening? This is positive. That means this much amount of heat is being added to the system. And since there is no work transfer involved, so whatever the heat that we provide to the system gets stored in the form of internal energy or the total energy of the system. Clear? That's why the internal energy or the total energy of the system is increasing. Clear? Now come to another process that is process C to D. For the process C to D, again, we have delta Q is equal to 
delta E that is minus 36,600 plus del W. So for this, we get del W as this value that is 36600 minus 2100. So this value will come out to be 34500 that is 34,500 and that is in positive. That means since this is negative, that means this much amount of heat is being taken out of the system. This is also positive. That means this much amount of work is done by the system. So both the energies in the form of heat as well and in the form of work as well, both are coming out of the system. So from where they will come? They will come by the in the form of internal energy. The internal energy will decrease and the heat will also be transferred from the system or moving out of the system and work is also being done by the system. Okay. Now we have done till this much. Now we have this last column and which is empty. We require at least one value here to start off with. So we will use this concept now. That is the summation of all the heat transfers is equal to this much. So we can clearly write that is Q A to B plus Q B to C plus Q C to D plus Q D to A is equal to minus 1700. So Q A to B is 0. This value is 21,000 minus this value is this and we have to find out this value. Okay. So the value of QD to A in this we will get as minus 17 this minus 2100 and plus 2100. So on solving we will get this value as minus 35900 okay so we get this value that means this much amount of heat is being rejected from the system or taken out of the system okay now now since this is a cyclic process we can use one concept here that is cyclic integral of del q will be equal to the cyclic integral of del w okay Clear? So this value we already know this is minus 1700 because this is the overall heat transfer and this will be equal to your W as well. So this can be written as W A to B plus W B to C plus W C to D plus W D to A. Okay. So just writing these values A to B the work transfer for A to B is 212170 for B2C it is 0, for C2D it is 34500 plus work D2A, this we have to find out and this is equal to minus 1700. So on solving this we will get the value of D2A as <coughs> minus 17000, minus 34500 and minus 2170. So we will get this value as minus 53670 minus 53670 that means this much amount of work is done on the system since this work done on the system is more than the work than the heat being taken out of the system that means if we take the summation of both of them the net effect of both of them that means the energy is entering into the system so since the energy is entering into the system that means it will be stored in the form of kind in the form of internal energy or the total energy of the system. So let us verify that means for this case we must get the value of delta E as positive. So whatever value it should be it should be positive. So let's check it out whether it is coming out to be positive or not. For the process D2A delta uh, Q sorry del Q is equal to this much equal to delta E and this is the value of work transfer. Okay. So this value delta E we get 53,670 minus 35,900. This value we will get as 17,770 as plus only. So that means our thing which we did was absolutely correct. Okay. So we have to find out. We have to complete this table. We have done this and we have also to complete the net rate of work output. So net rate of work output will be this much only. Okay, and all other values which could have been asked in this question, I have already filled the table. So what are the concepts that we learned from this question? 
we learned first of all this concept that is the summation of overall heat transfer then also we learned that how to apply the first law of thermodynamics for different processes okay and then we also learned that how to apply the first law of thermodynamics for a cyclic process okay so that's all for this video i hope you learned some good concepts through these questions discussion part of the first law of thermodynamics so thank you for being a patient listener of this video see you soon thank you have a nice